So here we have the Volkswagen Golf GTI on a 67 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run for a few controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see that it's a five door car. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of it from there. So as we approach the back of the car you'll see we've got those twin exhaust pipes as well as reversing sensors. Plenty of boot space along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. And then underneath this section we have a space saver spare wheel as well. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car now, and then I'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of the car, you can see not only is it in great condition, but it's a fantastic looking car as well. Just briefly before I climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. As you can see, the seats are in lovely condition. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, so now that we're inside the car, we're going to start off with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and on the right hand side the speedometer. There's also a digital readout uh, for the speedometer in the middle of the speedometer and at the minute there's one in the center console area just here as well. You can change that information that's displayed there using buttons on the steering wheel. So there's all sorts of fuel economy information but there are other menus to the right and left of that as well. As you can see, satellite navigation, um, you can put your audio menu on there, your telephone. So all sorts of things you can look at on there. And you can see also the total miles for this car are 7,712. If we back out to the steering wheel, firstly on the right hand side, the buttons I was using just now are here and here. We've also got stereo controls and voice activation for the phone. So if you hit that button, ask it to dial anyone in your contacts list, it will do that for you without you having to take your phone from your bag or pocket. That is of course once you pair the phone, which I'll show you in just a moment. And then on the left hand side, we have cruise control with speed limiter. This button in the middle, uh, if we give that a push when the cruise control is set, uh, the car is actually capable of keeping a safe distance between you and the car in front. So it will slow down automatically and speed up automatically uh, in traffic. So really clever system uh, in terms of safety, certainly. Over in the center area, we've got the touch screen uh, system. So there's a few menu buttons down the right and left hand side, for example, radio, which is the one we're at the moment but predominantly the rest of it is all touchscreen. So you can see this car's got DAB digital radio as well as FM and AM. If we hit media, these are the other ways that we've got uh, to listen to music that are available to us. So we've got a CD player, two SD memory card slots, USB input, Bluetooth audio so we can stream music wirelessly, auxiliary input, and the car has a wireless uh, connection as well. Uh, so I say plenty of ways to listen to your music. You can set up the phone from here and uh, customize your voice control settings from there. We also have satellite navigation on this car as well. There's a full video showing how the satellite navigation system works on our website and on our Facebook page, so it's well worth checking those out. Below that, we've got dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the temperature independently on either side of the car. Fan speed is adjustable in the middle here. When you're happy with the temperature and fan speed, that button will turn the air conditioning on or back off again. Or you can hit auto, and the car will take control of the fan speed for you to maintain the temperatures you've asked for. You can override that by simply readjusting the fan speed yourself. We also have a heated driver and passenger seat as well. This cubby hole directly below it will open up and in there you can see the auxiliary and USB inputs. We have this six speed manual gearbox, uh, golf ball style. And then over to the left hand side of the gear lever, uh, we've got a few buttons here. This will turn off the traction control this turns off the stop and start, so this car is designed to cut out when you're stationary in traffic. Uh, if you want that system turned off, you can do so. And mode will change the driver setup of the car. So it gives you, uh, you can see on there, a few options. You can have the car in eco mode, normal, sport, or individual, which will allow you to customize all of these settings. Your steering, uh, the drive, so the gearbox, uh, the air conditioning, um, acceleration on the car, the engine sound. So, you know, you can change that and put it on you know, sport, eco, comfort, uh, loads of different settings. So the right hand side of the gear lever, we have this button here. This will turn on the front parking sensors. So if you're pulling into a space forwards and you want to turn them on, hit that button and you'll get the uh, visual warning as well as the audible warning as well. And then finally, electronic handbrake with auto hold function. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.